Hi everybody, I'm just some guy, and today I'm gonna cuss out a white woman. Now, why am I gonna treat this white lady? Because, according to Lily White Alex DeCampi, apparently she gets to decide who's black. You don't know who Alex DeCampi is? Don't worry, you're not alone. She's written a bunch of miniseries and a handful of comics that never really took off. I can't say whether she's any good or not because I've never seen anything she's worked on, let alone read it. And I'm not going to because I'm a spiteful Larry David motherfucker and she got under my skin. If you're trying to figure out Alex's deal, it's basically this. Snow White wants attention. Nobody's bothering this woman. By that I mean no one was actually paying any attention to her and Boo Boo felt left out. So like a natural born Brianna Wu, Alex decided to pick a fight so she can play the victim. Seriously Alex, you're old enough to be somebody's grandmama, you're too old to damsel, and you got another problem. See, white female never trumps black, Hispanic, or gay. Ever. Just ask Hillary. So if you're gonna damsel, you pick the wrong fucking group to do it with. But if you wanna dance, well then come on Cotton Swab, let's do this shit. Oh, I'm going to talk about you because I'm getting tired of you far left entitled white women thinking you speak for everybody. I dealt with your trifling asses on Saturday, leaving your pussy hats and posters all over the street because your lazy bitches think it's someone else's job to pick up your shit. You think you're the face of a movement. Yeah, a bowel movement. You don't speak for anybody but yourself and you don't get to play the victim when you pick the fight. So how this started is that Alex wrote this Twitter rant about alt-right comic trolls. Understand, nobody's bothering her. If you look up her name, you don't see anybody coming at her at all until she wrote this dumbass Twitter rant. But she writes, like, so you've been targeted by alt-right comic trolls. A thread. A thread. This is Twitter. We can read. We know it's a thread. You don't have to announce it. You know what? Why don't y'all just make a YouTube channel? Make a video and do it that way. Why are you tweeting out these rants online where folks gotta click through all this shit? Just make a video. Jesus. Like, you can totally get through this? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's Twitter, not a concentration camp. If it's this hard for you to be on social media, turn it off. You don't have to be on social media. It's not like you're using it to promote your work. You're just bitching to your friends. You can do that in person. Oh, wait. They don't like you either. Never mind. Like, Mute or block, your choice. Yeah, that's fine. If somebody's bothering you, by all means, mute or block them. But this block bot shit that you link to? Nah, girl, that's not your friend. That's not cool, and neither is this shit. Like, hit EVS or DNC, and you're good. Whoa. Whoa. You're putting Ethan Van Skyver on a block list? The guy who tweets pictures of his art. The Bob Ross of comics. You're putting him on a block list. Why? Because he's been nothing but polite to everyone he encounters? And you're gonna block his followers? You know the pros follow him, right? So you're blocking them? No, you're blocking him because he doesn't agree with your nutty ass politics and he's friends with someone you don't like. Ethan won't say this because he's got class, but I don't. So, fuck you. Who the hell do you think you are to block people's followers? People who've done nothing to you. People who haven't even contacted you. Until your fucking name popped up in my Twitter feed, I didn't even know your ignorant white ass existed. Like, personally, I just mute. More fun to leave these losers whining into the void. But, up to you. Nobody keeps tweeting at you if you don't respond back, except for fools like you. Don't nobody else do this shit. You're the only ones who like whining into the void about shit that doesn't matter. What they actually do is make fun of you. And the only way you'd know that anybody was still talking about you is if you checked. Because if you muted them, you wouldn't see anything that they tweeted. So obviously, you're looking. Because you want the attention no matter what bullshit you try to spend. Like, adjust your Twitter notifications? You're not being contacted by that many people. You're just blocking people who would otherwise want to follow you, dumbass. What are you doing? Listen, if you don't want people you don't personally know hitting you up on Twitter, set your account to private or get off of Twitter. You're in a public space. Your retarded thoughts go out into the public ether. Everybody gets to see them and then gets to reply if they want to. If you don't want them to reply, treat your thoughts like your boyfriend treats his dick. Keep it in your pants. Like, kinds of trolls. First, it's like, the combative answer me right now troll. 
Oh, honey, I don't even answer my mother right now. I don't owe you shit. Mute. I'm going to put this on my list of shit that never happened because I don't believe you. I don't believe that you got enough people tweeting at you demanding an immediate response for this to be a problem. You're lying and you're really bad at it. And for a writer, that's terribly sad. Like the blackface troll. Five followers, new account, quote, as a black, queer, Latino person, I, uh uh-uh, bye. (sighs) Mm Mm-mm. Mm Mm-mm. I know this walking ball of sour cream soaked cotton balls did not just write that shit. No, no. This white bitch did not write that shit. It's in my head. You know what? I'm going to look at it again. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Who the fuck do you think you are? If you got any whiter, we'd sprinkle you on cereal. Your lily white ass is in no fucking position to decide who is black or Hispanic. Who the fuck do you think you are? You entitled racist jackass. You don't get to decide who's black. Oh, somebody just joined Twitter and they say they black and they don't agree with me. Blocked. Everybody only has a few followers when they start a Twitter account. Do you think niggas is walking around with buttons on their ass for people to press so they can rack up enough followers for Alex the Cracker to think they're actually black? How do you know they're not black? Is your nigga sense not tingling? Oh, I don't feel a need to clutch my purse. Not black. You know you're racist, right? You know this shit makes you racist. Not like casually racist, like, ooh, there's a black man cross the street racist, but like smiling under the burnt body of a lynched black man racist. You understand that, right? I hope every black and Hispanic person you know hates you. I want you to go and find yourself a black man. Get pregnant by him, raise that little baby until he can talk so he can cuss out his racist ass white mama. Who the fuck do you think you are to decide somebody's race? And how do you know who people are fucking? I mean, it's not like they fucking you. So how the hell do you know someone's gay? How you just gonna randomly decide that shit like that's your place? You know what? Let's move on because I can eat this fucking peach for hours. Like, you're a racist troll. I know you are. That's why I made this video. Because you're a racist troll and a wannabe damsel looking for attention because even your tampons go soft when they get near you. Like, as in, you're racist against white people. I bet you are. It really wouldn't surprise me. Hmm. I think I'm not going to do my nails. I like the shade of red. It's called the blood of my enemies. Would you stop playing with your period blood for one minute and stay on topic? We're talking about your fucked up mentality, not your weird ass feminist art project. You want to be in a social space, but you don't want to deal with the people you don't agree with. Well, then you don't get to be in a social space. Go find your white mecca and get away from the rest of us. Or like maybe this gold one called all the money I've earned in the industry you failed out of. Bye. You write comic books. Nobody knows who you are. You think you're important because 14,000 people follow you on Twitter? How many of those people say anything to you? Retweet anything that you write. Buy your books. Are you fucking kidding me? Just because you get to write books that nobody buys or reads doesn't mean you can throw shade. Like the concerned troll. As a longtime fan of yours, I'm like shocked to find out that you're an SJW slash anti-white. Baby, pull the other one. It's got bells on it. See ya in Mutesville, population, you. If this is really the best that you can do, honey, I'm not surprised I've never heard of you. I question your nigga sense. Because if it worked right, you'd have been around enough black people to have better clapbacks than this. They will like try as hard as they can to like engage you in conversation for like about a week. No, they don't. This never happens to you because nobody's interested in you. Nobody is trying to talk to you for a week. What probably happens is you tweet something retarded. Then over the course of a week, people treat it your ass. They're not expecting you to reply back. And how would you know that they were even doing this for a week if you muted them? Gotcha, bitch. You're following them. You're watching the tweets, unmuting folks or going to the Twitter pages, or you're looking up your name when you're not signed in to see what people say about you. Don't try to act like you don't care when you're spending all this time trying to damsel. Stop it. But like, presumably, unlike them, you have pro deadlines and a life, and they're like pretty easy to ignore. And yet here you are giving tips on how to ignore them and long-winded tips at that. So obviously your deadlines are not that tight. They're like kind of sad really. But hey, you can hate or you can hustle and they made their choice. What the fuck are you talking about? You're not hustling. You probably had to beg for the jobs, but you're not hustling. 
And yeah, they did make their choice. They didn't buy your fucking books. And now they're not going to. They're going to go out of their way not only to not buy your books, but they're going to tell other people not to buy your books. And then what you going to do? Turn to the rest of the team and go, they fucked us. No, you fucked you. Don't invert stuff. You made an ass out of yourself mouthing off about blackface trolls and shit. I swear to God, if you can get a 10, don't buy this woman's books. Now, what you gonna do? Like, as a pro creator, the only thing you have to worry about is if they torpedo one of your projects by buying up all the copies from the stores and burning them. <laughs> if they can find them. But I don't think you have to worry because that thick Spencer layer of dust would act as a flame retardant. All 11 copies of your books will be fine. That could like injure me badly, so let's hope they don't have the courage to like wipe out Twisted Romance when it hits shelves. I think you should hope comic book stores don't have the courage to skip bullshit when they see it and actually order copies of your books. So this should have been the end of her little Twitter rant, but I'm guessing Lady Mayonnaise got some negative feedback and decided to tweet out this. Popping back to like say two last things. One, screen cap and save like any hate speech as soon as you see it. Oh, I did that shit immediately. I saved this and made a video about it. So every time you lie and you try to act like you weren't running around like the white Negro Domus, we can always come back to this. Like all those different kinds of trolls I mentioned, they're often the same person with a bunch of sock puppets accounts. Like all Comicsgate is like four incels in San Bernardino. So let me get this straight. You're using block bots to hide from four motherfuckers. Bullshit. Don't try to back out of it now, Snowflake. You made an ass out of yourself. You gotta live with it. Go ahead and tell me what a real black person on Twitter looks like. Tell me what they sound like. Tell me how your nigga sense tingles when the real deal comes around. I wanna hear how you know. Come on. I wanna know how you can tell who's a blackface troll. Explain it to me. Cause until I get an explanation, I'm gonna assume your punk ass is racist. I'm gonna tell everybody I know you're racist. Every time somebody brings up your name, Alex it can't be, oh, that's that white woman who calls any black person who disagrees with her a blackface troll. I'm going to say it every time somebody mentions your name. Who in the actual fuck do you think you are? Sit your powder white ass down before somebody pours salt on you so you'll melt. Don't even try to apologize. Just let Twitter suck you back into its infinite asshole. And don't forget your pussy hat this time, you arrogant, entitled, racist, white asshole. I think little Miss Sour Cream then lost her airy in mind, but what do I know? I'm just some blackface troll.